Here's how you can craft your own Steam artwork for your Steam profile. And all you need is a model, your background of choice, enough Steam points for this featured artwork showcase, assuming you're Steam level 10. Because for those who don't know, that basically means you can get an extra showcase slot. So go ahead and equip that. And lastly, Photoshop. And if you don't have Photoshop, don't worry. You can join my Discord server. Just send me a ticket and I can help you out right there. there. And you can also get this from my last video for free. Right, so I've divided this tutorial into three easy steps. With that being said, let's run step one, acquiring a model. Now, when choosing a model, the best place you can browse is at DeviantArt. We're looking for cards like these to best display them on your profile. And if you have no luck on DeviantArt, browsing on Pinterest wouldn't hurt to try. So once you found one you like, just simply right click, then save as. Now I like to keep things tidy, so I'll make a folder and save it here. And if you wanna use this model for yourself, I left the download link down below. So moving on to step two, we're choosing a background. Now mixing and matching with your model can be quite tricky. Like this is go with this or with that, or how about this one? It's a hassle, but I find it easier when you browse that background that gallery. It's an ocean full of backgrounds, but side note, some of these backgrounds require game ownership. So let's say this, right? You'll be greeted with options like buy with points or buy on Steam, and sometimes the background costs more than buying the game itself. So that's up to you to decide. But yeah, if you found one you like, be sure to click crop this background, then in here, just click download zip on the top left, then just extract it. Or if you already got one from the Steam point shop and it's already equipped, head to the browser version of Steam. In your profile, right click on your background and click inspect. We're looking for this URL, then just click this link and it should redirect you here. Then just copy the link up top and head to steam.design. Paste it here, then just click download zip, then just extract it. Okay, now that we got the model and the background, it's time to combine them by running Photoshop. Again, if you don't have Photoshop, you can join my Discord server, invite links down below the like button. And I'm gonna keep it chill, so for those who don't have experience with Photoshop before, can follow along. So first things first, let's make the model's background transparent. So press Ctrl plus O, then look for the model you downloaded from earlier, then just double click it. Now before anything, click this padlock button on the right so we can edit it. On the left toolbar, we're going to use the fourth icon icon which is the quick selection tool and click select subject it should have your model selected with these lines now just press ctrl plus j that should separate your model from the background and you'll know that by clicking this eye icon on the right side and with that you're done with the model but for me though i don't like how there is text over here so i'm gonna click the second icon on the left side and just make a selection then i press shift plus delete to fill it and i'll choose content aware that should remove the text additionally i'm going to make ada's shoulders wider now you don't have to do this but i'm going to alter the model model using AI. Background comes next. Go ahead and press Ctrl plus O, then look for the folder you extracted from earlier. Then in here, open the one named Featured. So now you'll notice you'll have two tabs, your model and your background. But before anything, you want to head back to your model, then press V on your keyboard, then just click and drag your model back into your background tab. Now all you got to do is scale it to fit your background by pressing Ctrl plus T. And you can zoom out by holding Alt on your keyboard and scrolling down on your mouse. Now once you're happy with that, just click the check button on on the top and you're done but if you want you can add some spice on the adjustments tab on the right side you can adjust the contrast the exposure and the hue just make sure you hold alt on your keyboard until you see this arrow icon and then click it so it only affects your model and not the background anyways once you're done go to the top left file export export as format's gonna be jpeg then on the bottom right just export it uploading is the easy part head to the browser version of steam in your profile hit artwork then in here click upload artwork now it's gonna ask which game this is but go ahead and click not game specific. In here, give your artwork a title, then just choose the file you exported. And by a description, don't forget to give the artist that made this model credit. And then click I certify that I created this artwork. But before you click that shiny save and continue, you wanna paste in this code so your artwork won't look like this. So hit inspect, head on to console and just paste it and press enter. Now in some cases it won't allow you to paste, but just type in allow pasting and press enter. Then just close this, then press save and continue. Now just head back to edit profile onto the featured showcase tab, then just press this pencil icon. And if it appears as a line, don't worry, that's normal. Just choose it Then scroll down and press save. And if you did everything right, your profile should look like this. And if you want to know how to do an animated background like this, make sure to check out this video out right here. So as always, I like it would be great. Your comments are welcome. Don't hesitate. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.